And welcome back to Overlord Raising Hell. What's left for us is actually those uh, abysses. Mm. Wait, the golden hills, golden hills. I thought that elves and dwarves would get there in an abyss. But maybe I'm no, no, they are separate. Right? Just one very characteristic thing from dwarves will be in elven abyss. Yeah, yeah I don't ever know. And if I remember correctly, it will be near Opera near Oberon spot. You have a race. I know. Thank you. Yep, let's see. Another of those gates? Perhaps all that concentrated evil from those heroes is forcing something to the surface, like some kind of suffocating pustule. I hear it's a new theatrical production about the glories of the elven race. May they do us justice, brother. Hmm. Yeah. About that. <laughs> I really should already get an upgrade to my stuff. I don't know why I'm not I'm not doing that for some reason. Thank you, darlings. Wait, I see that there is. I can get through. I, can get through. I don't know why they have problem with those. Where did you get those? Oh well. Okay. Oh, there were bats here. That's, that's fine. This Yeah, this is just a way out. Any comment on that? Nope. The light. Oh, I know how they feel. Hmm. My eyes, my poor eyes. <laughs> oh, I can relate as well. Okay. Take care of it because. I'll walk at some point uh, they will have a chance of exploding instead of having something valuable in them. And go somewhere over here. Oh this is everybody my eyes cannot continue to watch this no, travesty. No, Roots! <laughs> and Oberon Greenhaze! Ah, I see we have a special guest in the back. Now, welcome to the Terror of Evernight Forest. I do hope you enjoy the show. Act one in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, 
How lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Cold and uncaring harlot, eh? The writer of this play doesn't seem to like the Mother Goddess much. Or the elves, for that matter. Mm, I think I'm a fan already. A duel <laughs> in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> now that's entertainment! <laughs> The terror comes to Evernight Forest. Oh, where is it? Where, where's the terror? I want the terror! <laughs> oh, what do you mean it's broken? Okay, back to act one again, everyone. It's not like you lot don't dig the practice. Oh, shame. Just as it was getting good. Perhaps you should locate this terror of Evernight, sire. Help end things with a bang. Yeah, true, and apparently there's some bloody, bloody red, red hand telling us that we should advance this way. So we shall do. <laughs> I actually might split this a bit in two for myself. It can be quite a lengthy one. Loose! Loose! Hurry up! Wait, where are they? Come on! Okay, next time do not destroy every of those graves at the same time. Okay, 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 come back here. Oh, this is what I meant. This is what I meant. Okay, close. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. No Oh well. Yeah, unfortunately it takes me a while to notice that there's something missing. Uh well, you know, there usually is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll kill them first. 
one in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the world. Rejected by the unworthy deity, the other goddess. I seriously think that they do not want to help. My friend, we are. Let us pray to the mother goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground in their precious forest. So lovely. Thank you, Rita. I don't think that's a hand. <laughs> Where is the buddy? That guy over there. Okay, so we are back here. Oh, can you just pick it up? Where's the <laughs> Okay, but for some reason we're gonna just go through the audience and in and out of it. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Dad, you saw him, right? Uh, for although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Our fall was tragedy enough. Must it be entertainment as well? Yes. How long must we continue to watch this? Wait, what do we have over there? Terror still broken. Back to I. I don't remember that part, that place. Let me go inside. I don't know. Okay, but we don't want to be he over here yet. I don't remember. They are mocking us! Mocking us! And they're doing a very good job. Oh, they reset! Peacefully, deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Rex! Green blues. God damn it, my bottom keeps uh, blocking for, for no reason. And now I oh, I want to lose. Okay, thank you. We don't need many more. Let's just get additional greens instead. Um. This place is big. Must be the <laughs> terror. Oh, better find a way to reach it, my lord. Oh, oh. kill him. Oh, 
just kill him. God damn it, you guys. Very cool sometimes. Uh. Let's get over here. Oh, I was like, great. Now I want you guys to go over and I'm back here. Oh, I really can't just enough. Oh, I hate when you separate. They are a nuisance. They are so annoying. And they have a very big range of attack. Okay, we were done. Come over here. Where those rapes playing the dwarves get ready, sire. Ah, splendid. Very moving. Get me an autograph, won't you? No. Okay, but they are going out, so we can take this. Um, and loot this place. We only need to get down there. Crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Okay, that's how we can go down there. What are you doing there? Did you follow us? There's that weapon. One day. Kim. <laughs> so he doesn't fool us. Okay, we're back here. Mm -hmm. Deep in the Evernight Forest. Protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. And now we have to wait for you. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. And I'm not even for kidding. <laughs> she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship. She alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack so. Evernight Forest. Dwarves! Dwarves. I think that's your cue, Master. Remember, dwarves, I want to feel hate. I want to feel anger. I want to smell the beard on your beards. <laughs> Please do not touch my armor. Thank you very much. something in there. You 
must be right behind the stage side. It's where all the lovely, wonderful magic of the theater happens. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty. You weren't wrong yet. And more than being shot at. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest. Protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I know that voice, that condescending tone. Don't worry, it'll come to me, sir. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Hi, my friend. We are. It appears to be a face mode, Dark Master. Oh, although she is a poor and uncaring harlot, undeserving of our worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground in the precious forest. Wait, can we push it even further? No. Oh, we can break this. And there's something break on the other side as well. Nope. Anything else? Hmm. There's that place that can be broken, but I don't remember where they come from. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. Yeah, I don't think we can For make it although this far. she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship. She alone will listen to our woe, our oh, maybe. and our poetry. Okay. And two, in which the dwarves attack every night. Yeah. The elves I'm for the of their precious forest. <laughs> now we should be able to push that even further. Yes, back to one, please. Okay, everyone. Now we have spare balls. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully. Deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity. Ah, you found the terror sire. You know, I think this could be your starring role, if you can find a way to fix that thing. Hmm, I think so. You can now create the Mates of Doom, sire. I haven't seen an Obdoom weapon for years. <laughs> Each power strike from this will send your enemies flying to the air. I can still never have them shielded. Shit. Yep, we can push that. Wait, where are you? Ah, 
I think we might be able to push even further back here. Or not. Nope, we definitely have to push it. It's a shame that they cannot wear those masks. Wait, I guess Dawn I didn't hear any. No, we just don't hear that. We are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Okay, run. Yeah, I know he's still broken. I'm working on that. Okay, okay. I already found that. Okay, and you know where to take it. Grab. We don't have to Act worry about you. In which the Elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Just be quick about this. <laughs> So I want to just get back here. Get back here. Okay, I don't want to. It was all that's tacked ever night. Crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Yeah, I think the other one wasn't here. Yep. It was definitely in this weird plant something Your audience await terror still broken back to act one Oh but it's not broken anymore <laughs> Everyone ready? Oops You want a terror, so you have terror. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's stuck. <laughs> yep. Okay. How did I manage to get it stuck? Well, I see how I managed to do that. Okay, now we are on. Terrifying things! I want pain! I want suffering! I want to see pointy ears flying! I'm trying! I actually think this is more... This is faster. Watch this. Can 
Luckily we cannot kill our minions with that. We have to do it. Oh, we are not free. But now we have to be careful about. Yep, I need them to protect this place. You doing? You're doing fine. Guys, come on. No, oh, really, I don't understand why they won't deal with him. yours and that's mine no, this is my play and my abyss okay why well, won't it move no they have to carry it okay they just they were simply broke Okay. Yeah, luckily they can't use that flamethrower. Back here, so don't run too far away. Hmm. Oh, you're hurting. Oh, we lost that dude. for the finer points of punishment. Your actions amuse me. I have plenty more abysses. Why don't Only you two. entertain me by trying to conquer those? <laughs> you and your little vermin army. <laughs> you are master of the elven abyss, sire. However, if what he said is true, we have work to do. We do indeed. But that is gonna be it for today. So... For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!